The Stage 4 Major is just around the corner, but first, let's take a look at the craziest plays from the LA Thieves Home Series, presented by USAA Insurance. Kicking us off is Royal Ravens youngster Paul X. Despite facing a difficult 1v2 situation, the youngster held his nerve and pulled his team back level. Knows that he was around Brown the last time he saw him, and well, he finds and makes the read, wins the gunfight by a bullet, and he can jump on either one, and well, Paul X wrapping over towards A. It's really just about the timing. If he can get the plant and get away before Mac challenges, he has potential. I'm planted. 1v1. Max gonna go for it straight away. Out he goes. Nice eyes from Falls. Now the shoulders come out. Whoa, baby! Slip slides right into that one. What a challenge! Next up is LA Thieves Starman Kenny. His tidy eight kill spree wasn't quite enough to claw the squad back into the game, but it was still one of the best plays of the weekend. This is it. Like three down. Able to get the setup, a rotation, still down by about 60. The Thieves certainly fighting back in Kenny, the artillery, he's secured it. Ew, one more and he's gonna get himself the cruisy woozy. One perfect hard point from Rocker over by number three to the fourth, which was perfect for Thieves. You love to see it back and forth, we will go. This kill for Kenny's gonna be big, full streaks will be his. That's nice, very helpful now. Next up is a Attach with the Balls of Steel. The 2015 world champ stuck a sneaky ninja defuse, leaving Arsitis and Abizi with egg on their faces. Pretty one he does, but it comes down to a two versus two. As there's battles all over the map, both players starting to flood through water steps. 30 seconds to go to work this. Dash is just gonna hop it. He's gonna hop it, but as Arsitis wins his one, will anyone get there in time? He is on it, it is nearly done, he finishes it. Rocker gets the round win, is attached with the zero hesitation stick. There's never a doubt when Matty Marshall's about. Scraps read gunless like a book to win the round 11 and put Paris Legion 2-0 up in the series. Make the poke, I'm this right, it's gonna be sweet, classic, the timing is so good. The trade comes through, 1v1, gunless v Scraps. With 10 seconds left on the clock, it's gonna be a foot race for Scraps, he's gonna go for it, he's gonna go for it, he lands the kill as well, oh, oh baby. The fabulous Frenchman was on fire again. Hydra found kill after kill against the Ravens in a dominant display on Checkmate Hardpoint. Finds two, and has the other couple players trapped in. Unfortunately for Hydra, well, his help is gonna fall in the break successful. Ravens have eclipsed that 100 point margin. There it is, they're in there for now. They don't have a lot of map control to work with, and Hydra still driving the dagger, twisting the blade back and forth as he just keeps dealing these death blows to the Ravens. Now hitting spawns, there's one. The quick re-engage, and he's gonna find another five in a row for him now, Mac. Not a ton of pressure on him, which means you just get time to, to think about <laughs> the plays you wanna make, including Hydra. Well, again, he's thinking about some score streaks, but it doesn't make a difference when Mac is lighting up the feed and you have control of the download plane. Now you got Hydra spotting out the information. At the halfway mark, we have skies of the Florida Mutineers. He single-handedly took over round two of control, deleting every Empire player in his path. When Skies is shooting like this, you don't want to be in his firing line. You got this a lot of angles to check, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, like, we saw Shachi, he's in a position top lane, and he doesn't want to give up top lane, but all of the Florida players are around him, but uh -oh, Skies finds uh -oh. a 74 U. He's now 11 and 5, as he's on six in a row. There's the multi-kill, give him the yeah! three. Why not? And Sky's put this round away. Next on the list is Slash's super start to one of the most devastating hard points this season. The veteran AR started the map as he meant to go on with an eight kill spree as the Thieves placed Rocker into the 100 point club. What went wrong for Minnesota here? Going into the second half point, Slash is still yet to die. The pressure is on, but the team fire is there. Communication right now for the LA Thieves certainly flowing well. Five in a row now for Slasher. Finds that clean one. And on the other side of the board, I mean, Hook hasn't got anything yet. Like, he's he's just dealing damage right now, making sure the squad are up there. But, but EKIA looks very different. Six now for Slasher. As the time still goes in favor of LA Thieves. The first two hard points treating them very well. Slasher number seven. Streaks now to be had. Here comes number eight. And there it is. Beautiful start. It's not deja vu. It's Slasher once again. And this time he was showing off his S&D prowess. Pre-star and Attach stood no chance as the veteran leveled up the series. He's got information on at least one player, knows the bomb is at least roaming over towards A. Well, Priesta makes a little bit too much noise. And I think for the delicacy of it, Attach knows for sure he's up top. He can hear him coming, but Slasher with the reads or with the sound clutches the 1v2 and gets the job done. 
but Priester got his revenge in Game 5 against the LA Thieves. After sweeping Slasher aside, he ripped Kenny apart in a crucial clutch for Minnesota. Attach is giving him nothing to work with. The next player in Hotel gets out of dodge, but Kenny found the opening, looking for Attach as well, but that's just for the bait for Slasher. Last player half full, Priest and Kenny, a 1v1 again. 12 seconds on the clock and Priest has got a week, but Kenny hunts him down until he gets gone. Priest for the clutch in the end. King Scump was absolutely untouchable in the checkmate control against LA Thieves as he spearheaded the green wall to a 2-1 series advantage. Obviously defensively you're going to be right around two minutes, uh, around <laughs> maybe a minute 30. You, you see the artillery is going to be activated. They just cannot get out of the spawn uh, whatsoever. This I, I, arguments can be made either way, but this is a very good example of how difficult it can be. Hit that subscribe button for more Call of Duty content.